Howard from PopPhoto.com and Inside Digital Photo. We're here at Photo Plus in New York City speaking with John Carlson, product manager of Pentax. And he's got a brand new Pentax K10D, Pentax's impressive new 10.2 megapixel camera. John's going to tell us a little bit about what Pentax did to come out with this and the rich features that are impressing everyone in the industry right now. Well, the first thing we wanted to do is introduce a camera that wasn't just a higher resolution CCD in the same old body. Uh, so we uh, included the 10.2 megapixel CCD. We added the, the prime uh, image processing Im engine that works with our 22-bit analog to digital converters and a DDR2 memory. So it gives you a, a wide dynamic range with your images, truer color tones, and uh, with the DDR2 memory, you can take images at three frames per second until the memory card is full. So you've got the, the advanced quality of the images as well as the speed of the camera. But uh, as far as not putting the same uh, resolution chip in, a, in a, uh, the same old body, we wanted to do something more. So we added weather resistant seals to this camera. We've added a host of, uh, of exposure modes, including the SV mode, which is sensitivity priority, where you actually, the photographer sets the, the uh, sensitivity and the camera will adjust the shutter speed and aperture. We've added the TAB mode, which is shutter priority and aperture priority at the same time where you set an ISO range and you can adjust your shutter speed and aperture within that range. So if your range is 100 to 800, you've got a four stop range you can adjust within. And, and it will keep your shutter speed and aperture with it, where you choose that? I'm where you choose and it will pick the ISO that is needed for that combination. When would, when would this be handy? Uh, the example that uh, I like to use is say, you're taking a scenic shot. You want to blur water in that scenic shot, but you have a flower in the front, and you want the depth of field as well as the slow shutter speed, or vice versa. You don't want to blur the water, but you do want the depth of field. So it, it allows the photography to be a little bit more creative uh, and and do stuff you couldn't do with film, and until now you haven't been able to do with digital. Uh, the camera's also got, you know, two and a half inch LCD screen to review your images. Uh, it, probably the most important feature of the camera is the shake reduction. It's got shake reduction built into the body, so you can use any Pentax lens ever produced on this body and still get shake reduction. It'll give you two and a half to four stops of additional exposure uh, compensation when you're hand holding the camera. So if you can typically hand hold the camera at a sixtieth of a second. With the K10, you can go down to an eighth of a second, uh, one fifteenth of a second, and get a nice sharp image. That's with any Pentax lens. With any Pentax lens. Pentax has produced 24 million lenses, uh, or more than 24 million lenses in its complete history, and that's 340 different types of lenses. Um, to add to that number, you can actually use our medium format lenses, the 67 lenses and 645 lenses with an adapter on the camera and still access the shake reduction technology. Wow, that's, that's, that's a whole lot of lenses. That's right. Uh, what else is there about this camera? Anything else that people should know? Who are you targeting with this? I mean, you the K100, the, K, uh, the K110 are sort of six megapixel, sort of consider them entry level. This is definitely a much more upmarket up camera, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. We, we, we felt very comfortable with the K100 going to that entry level photographer, so we wanted to do more with this camera. And it's really designed for the advanced photo enthusiast, someone who's got a little bit more experience with photography, isn't going to use auto picture modes or scene modes. They're going to set the shutter speed, they're going to set the aperture, they're going to know how that affects your image. So we made the controls easy for them to use, very straightforward. Plus, uh, as I mentioned, it's a weather resistant body, so you can go out in conditions that you know, the average person, the average photographer is just going to put their camera away and go home, whether it's rain or snow or whatever, and, and you could kill, still keep shooting with this camera. It's very interesting. Um, is this available yet for purchase? Uh, not quite yet. Uh, the, the final production run is, is going right now, and we probably see it in stores by the end of, the, end of November. Okay. What's the cost on it for the body only and also body with only. the kit? 
Body only is 919. Uh, body with a standard 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens is uh, 999. Okay. Where can people learn more about the uh, Pentax K10D and the Pentax camera line in general? They can go to PentaxSLR.com to look at our full line of uh, digital SLRs or PentaxImaging.com to look at our uh, line of point shoot compact cameras. Okay. Okay. I think we've learned a lot about the Pentax K10D. John, thank you very much for talking with us. This is Jack Howard for PopPhoto.com, Inside Digital Photo, signing off from PhotoPlus with another floor report.